A hushed crowd filled a huge auditorium bathed in dim light, shadows stretching across the walls. Golden trimmings and detailed ornate ceilings stood in contrast to the beauty displayed on a huge colorful screen. Every seat was occupied by the leading minds of environmental science, history, and global policy. On the grand stage, illuminated by a crystal clear screen, displayed a prehistoric world that came alive. Gigantic dinosaurs gracefully wandering beside clear rivers, their long necks grazing the tops of ancient lush trees. Pterodactyls soared overhead, casting intricate patterns against the backdrop of a fiery sunset. At the top of the screen displayed a single phrase, what dinosaurs can teach humans. And as the lights dimmed, a lone figure emerged from the side, striding confidently to the center, Professor Felix Thorne, the world's leading dinosaur expert. Gaining center stage, he began, for over 160 million years, giants roamed our earth, their reign enduring and majestic, spanned ages that make our recorded human history seem like a drop in the ocean. The audience was entranced, hanging on his every word. The image transitioned to dense forests, where Brachiosaurus moved with a grace, their long necks reaching for the green canopy. These forests were the lungs of our planet, breathing life into every creature. Trees, older than any we've ever known, stood tall, their leaves a symphony of colors, creating a sheltered canopy for countless species below. Today, three quarters of deforestation is driven by expansive agriculture, mostly from the production of beef, palm oil, and soy. These industries are growing too fast and are destroying our forests at an alarming rate, threatening the biodiversity of our planet and contributing to climate change. Forests are vital to life on this planet. They absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, helping to regulate our climate. They also provide habitat for wildlife, clean our water, and prevent soil erosion. Just like the Amazon and other critical forests on this planet do today, the forests of the Mesozoic era helped to sustain life on Earth for millions of years. We must do everything we can to protect our forests for future generations if we want to reign on this planet like the dinosaurs did. A feathered velociraptor appeared with its huge claws and sharp gaze scanning the undergrowth. These were not just the cold-blooded reptiles of the past, Professor Felix Thorne explained. They were complex beings, adapting and evolving, living in ecosystems as intricate as any we see today. A hand shot up, belonging to a young student, brimming with curiosity. Professor Thorne, how did these ecosystems maintain such harmony? Felix looked toward the inquirer. It's the dance of life, a delicate and graceful ballet, predators and prey flora and fauna. Even the smallest insect has its role. Nature has a way of creating balance where every piece, no matter how insignificant it seems, is vital to the big picture. The decline in bees today, for example, might seem insignificant, but has huge implications on our global food systems because they are crucial pollinators for so many plants. Just like the creatures of the Mesozoic, Everything is connected. We must prioritize biodiversity and recognize that we have become the guardians of nature and this intricate web. The scene shifted to the vast oceans of the Mesozoic era, teeming with marine reptiles and ammonites. Plesiosaurs with long necks and slender bodies slithered through the water, their eyes scanning for prey. Ichthyosaurs, sleek and dolphin-like, darted through the shoals of fish. Massive mosasaurs, apex predators of the seas, patrolled the depths, and among them all, ammonites, spiraled shells of every size and color, floated gracefully. Our oceans, he continued, have always been the cradle of life. During the Mesozoic, they were a testament to the diversity and beauty of life below the waves. Just as they are today, they were vital, not just for the creatures that called them home, but for the very balance of the planet. The oceans of the Mesozoic were a place where life flourished in all its forms. 
From the smallest plankton to the largest sea monsters, every creature played a role in the delicate ecosystem. The oceans absorbed carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and acted as a thermal reservoir, helping to regulate the climate. They also provided a nursery for many marine animals, and their currents helped to distribute nutrients around the globe. Today, our oceans are facing many threats, including pollution, overfishing, acidification, and a rising temperature from global warming. But just as they were during the Mesozoic era, the oceans are crucial for all life on Earth. We must do everything we can to protect them for future generations. A renowned marine biologist from the audience inquired, how do the marine ecosystems compare from this time to now? Felix responded, in many ways, prehistoric ecosystems were more vibrant than ours today. Coral reefs stretched vast distances, providing habitats for countless species. Despite the challenges posed by volcanic activities, changing sea levels, and other natural events over millions of years, life in the oceans persisted, adapted, and evolved. This resilience is a lesson for us today, as our modern oceans face even more serious threats from human activities such as pollution, overfishing, and climate change. The haunting image of a fiery asteroid piercing the Earth's atmosphere, followed by a cataclysmic eruption of towering volcanoes, took center stage. Yet, for all their resilience, the dinosaurs faced threats they couldn't overcome. Felix's voice took on a somber note. Rapid environmental changes, whether from an asteroid impact or massive volcanic activity, altered the Earth's climate in ways that even these mighty creatures couldn't adapt to quickly enough. An environmental activist stood up, her voice tinged with urgency. Are we, in essence, the asteroids of our time? Felix nodded gravely. Yes, in many ways. We are. Our technological advancements, our industrial growth, our rapid consumption of resources, they're creating changes at a pace unprecedented in Earth's history. We're inducing our own apocalypse. But unlike the dinosaurs, we have the power of foresight. A beautiful depiction of a peaceful Mesozoic dusk appeared, with pterodactyls silhouetted against an amber sky. The Earth's chronicles tell tales of beauty and destruction. The Cretaceous, Paleogene extinction wasn't the first, nor the last, but it serves as an important reminder of the fragility and transience of life. A scientist with a notebook in hand asked, how did life thrive in the Mesozoic era with its high carbon dioxide levels? And what lessons can we learn from that time for our current situation? Felix took a moment. It's true. Carbon dioxide levels were higher during the Mesozoic era, leading to warmer global temperatures. But the critical difference is the rate of change. Back then, ecosystems had millions of years to adapt. We have recently transitioned from the Holocene Epoch, a period of relatively stable climate conditions that allowed human civilizations to flourish, to the Anthropocene Epoch, a new era marked by our own significant impact on the planet. The transition to the Anthropocene Epoch happened at an unprecedented rate, leaving ecosystems little time to adapt. This is due to a number of factors, including the rapid increase in atmospheric greenhouse gases from the burning of fossil fuels, widespread deforestation, habitat destruction, the introduction of invasive species, and extreme weather events. The key lesson is that we must reduce our impact on the planet and slow down the rate of change to give ecosystems more time to adapt. This means preserving what we have left and taking massive action now to mitigate climate change. The screen showcased a series of dinosaurs, from the famous horned Triceratops to the armored Stegosaurus. Look at these amazing animals. Felix's voice was filled with wonder. Each one, an evolutionary masterpiece, sculpted by time and nature's whims. They are a testament to life's ability to adapt, innovate, and survive. As the presentation drew to a close, the imagery shifted from the Mesozoic to modern-day Earth. 
Our blue planet, Felix said with awe, is a treasure trove of history, lessons, and wonders. The dinosaurs, in their magnificence, offer us insights, not just about the past, but our future. A young child from the audience, wide-eyed, asked, Professor Thorne, can we save our planet? Felix knelt down to the child's level, his voice soft but determined, without a doubt. This is a task that deserves our full attention and complete commitment. Dinosaurs, magnificent as they were, didn't have the tools or understanding to prevent their end, but we do. We possess the knowledge to realize our mistakes and the technology to correct them. The tales of dinosaurs serve as both an inspiration and a cautionary tale. Their legacy reminds us of the need for balance, conservation, and sustainable choices. We must reduce our carbon emissions drastically by ending our reliance on fossil fuels and embracing renewable energy. We also need to protect our ecosystems by reducing deforestation and excessive meat consumption. Then, we must learn to live more sustainably to curb our voracious consumption of resources. Each of us has a role to play in restoring our planet. Every action counts, whether it's planting a tree, saving energy, saving water, or simply reducing waste. Drawing himself to his full height, Felix added, the dinosaur's world ended due to natural disasters, but ours is at risk from our own actions. This planet's history not only captivates us with its beauty, but is shouting out loud, urging us to act, to change, and to protect. We must be the stewards of our Earth, ensuring that its beauty and bounty endure for the generations to come. With a final bow, Professor Felix Thorne left the stage to a standing ovation, leaving behind an audience inspired to shape a brighter, more harmonious future. The auditorium resonated with the weight of Felix's words and the collective realization of responsibility. The past had spoken, the present listened, and the future seemed just a bit brighter. If you believe in creating a cleaner, greener, and more sustainable future, then you can help by liking and sharing this video. Remember to be the change you want to see in the world. Small changes can make a world of difference. Subscribe to EcoPlanet Stories for more inspirational tales and to see our next video.